think about what Terry Mike Jeffrey said last night. Man, I hate following him. But I, got, I, brought a little, I brought a little reinforcements this time, as you can see. Um, let's meet these uh, wonderful musicians, singers, instrumentalists, and other people in charge of their careers on stage. Uh, from the Imperials, my friend Joe Mascao and Mr. Terry Blackwood. Joe Mascao, Terry Blackwood. Miss Millie Furcon. Mr. James Burton on guitar. And keeping everything in time, Mr. Joe Vecchio. Joe and I, uh, Richard and I have a restraining order. This is as close as we can get right here. So, thank goodness that's worked out okay. We measured it out earlier, and I have to get by him first. Muskeo is wearing his Elvis Insiders pin, in case any of you guys uh, can't get a look at that. You're an insider. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're an insider. I just saw you up there. You're an insider. You're, you're far on the right, but you're an insider. Yeah. Uh, uh, opening night at the International Hotel was incredible. Elvis came up to me backstage and he said, James, I don't know if I can go out there, man. I'm really nervous, man. And he was climbing the wall. I mean, he was really nervous. Too. He was afraid that he hadn't been in the public singing live shows for so long that he didn't know how the audience would accept him. But the whole audience was all celebrities. I mean, all the movie stars, celebrities, and great singers. And, it was incredible that, that night. I just said, Elvis, you know, when you walk out there, when, when the curtain goes up, you walk on stage. You it's a book of 50 songs. And you saw the songs we did last night. I mean, mm -hmm. that was the first show. Yeah. So Elvis was obviously looking, you know, for a, a show that worked. So he was experimenting with the songs, even on that first night. But he was nervous. He came across our dressing room like he did with the, with the TCB guys. And, he was jittery, I mean, he was really jittery, but, and we were nervous for him, we weren't nervous, we were nervous because we were with Elvis, <laughs> it wasn't for any other reason, it's just being around the guy made you nervous, you know. It's an Elvis in the recording studio and on stage, the person well, you saw. When we recorded, uh, he came in, they locked the door, and we were there, nobody could come in. And usually we had the same people there, same musicians, the same singers. So it was sort of like a family reunion, you know. And uh, Elvis could be himself there, you know. We, we knew that he was a superstar, but we treated him like he was one of us. And he liked that. It's kind of separated from that. Oh, I was overwhelmed by it. I mean, I had just gotten out of college. And, and then two years later, I'm on the stage in Las Vegas with Elvis Presley. Were you old enough to be in the casino? No, no. <laughs> That's what's the funny thing because a lot of nights I would go uh, through the casino back to my little hotel. Little, we've said a little motel way off from the international. And you had to be 18 to be in the casino. And they stopped me every night to check my ID. Because they thought I was a little boy. But uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it was overwhelming uh, to be there and to be I mean, open with Elvis Presley. I mean, and that night, every star whoever, I mean, the whole Hollywood was there in full array, and uh, it was just, I mean, you could see why he'd be nervous, too. I mean, he's there performing before all of his, yeah. all of the people who wanted to see if this guy was really as good as everybody said he was. But, you know, we had a little chart to look at, you know, and, uh, but it, it was just great. I mean, all the songs were great. Elvis had a, uh, you know, he recorded a lot of great songs, and on record, they were all great, but when you walk on stage and do them live, sometimes they're not the same, because you have to create the feeling and the mood for the, for the song, and uh, that was the thing that that was, that's why he threw a lot of songs out, because they, they sound great on record, but when you walk on stage to do them live, like way down a lot of those songs, patch it up, you know. And uh, he didn't want to do those. They, they didn't feel good for him. 